I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be talking about the Bozer Hip Pack 3, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up so we can keep helping you find the right gear. Let's dive in. So this hip pack here comes in a couple different sizes. The one we have here is the small, and this is a two liter capacity. So there's a fair amount of space in here for everyday items that you carry, um, and I'll kind of get into how they net out. But one of the more interesting things is this little uh, pouch on the outside here. So this is actually leader independent. So you do have a little bit of space between these two, you know, this main pocket here and this pocket on the outside to fit a fair amount of gear, though it does get a little bit clunky. So. Uh, just kind of going over the materials here, it's a 600D recycled polyester as well as a Cordura ripstop nylon on this outside pouch here. And this here is like a little bit translucent. You can see my fingers a little bit through it there. So nothing that goes inside. You can really see I do have this, uh, uh, an item in here and you can, I mean, you can tell that the shape is impacted, but in terms of actual like visibility, it is a little bit translucent, but it's not anything where you can see too much. Uh, so those, um, those are pretty solid, had no issues with any of the materials over the course of testing. And then for other uh, materials here, we have Duraflex hardware for these buckles and then YKK zippers. So there's also a uh, DWR finish for a little bit of weather weatherproofing, which comes in handy because you can kind of take this everywhere. So if you, uh, you know, you can use it on a hike or you can use it just for everyday use, totally up to you and just based off of your preference. Uh, on the outside, there's also this carry handle here. I never really found myself using it just because, you know, these straps don't pack away or anything. So it's not like you would use this as a pouch since these would just dangle. But I guess, it, I mean, it's not bad to have, right? It's pretty low profile on the actual hip pack itself. So it never got in my way. I just didn't find myself, you know, utilizing it all the time. And there is a little bit of you know, an extension here where it would rest against your body. So this is really comfortable to wear. The biggest thing that I found is that with, uh, when I had it on my hip, it, it was the most comfortable. I mean, it is primarily a hip pack, right? So that's, that's where it's gonna find most of its use and what it's designed to do, but you can use it as a sling. So when it's a hip pack, it, you know, rests pretty easily against your body. The straps are adjustable, and then you, you know, have these strap keepers for any additional length. Um, but when you wear it as a, uh, as a sling, you have to kind of decide, I mean, you really only wear it one way, right? So if you have it on your, uh, on your front, for instance, it, the North face needs this like big logo on the front here needs to face up. Otherwise it'll be one upside down and very obvious. And two, um, the, the zippered pocket here will be facing the bottom. So you can really only have it resting one way across your body. And because of um, just logistical things, when you flip it over to your back, you know, say your shoulders here and you flip it this way, it's now on your back facing down. So this is kind of what it would look like with, you know, this main cinched pocket here completely open. And I mean, it cinches pretty tight, so I, I wouldn't say stuff would necessarily fall out. You know, look, that hole's pretty much already closed there. Um, but again, it's just kind of like an awkward aesthetic. So I would say, you know, if you're looking for something that's primarily a hip pack, this is a great option. A sling, you have to be a little bit more conscious of how you're putting it on and which direction it's facing. Um, and in addition, it's it's a little bit less comfortable. I found it kind of awkward to find a good resting spot, whether it was towards the center of my chest or a little bit lower, or a little bit higher. On top of that, these uh, buckles here, it's easy for on and off, but I did find adjusting it a little bit tough. I mean, it looks pretty easy and it is pretty easy to slide, though I did find that um, depending on how it was resting on my body, it was a little bit tough for me to just like pull these and get them to where I wanted them to be. It's a little bit almost like stuttery. And then with the extra strap here, you know, this, say this is, you know, the size you want it for your waist. 
Um, it's gonna have a little bit extra on the sides here just because there is so much length. So you do start to see it. And if these strap keepers slip back because they are a little bit loose, then the extra strap will just start flying around. So it's just little nitpicky things um, in terms of wear and style once it's actually on, but it is a pretty unique looking pack. So um, I, will, I will get into the inside here. So starting off with this one on the outside, um, like I mentioned, it's a cinch cord here. So you do have a little bit of flexibility with how much you wanna pack it out. Um, it's a pretty hefty, uh, hefty pocket on the outside. I kept this for mostly like fragile things like a pair of sunglasses or keys or stuff I wanted to get to pretty quickly. Um, you could put a wallet out here too. It feels pretty secure. Um, again, you know, when you have it cinched up like that. And then, so if you wanted to, you know, you pull it as, as taut as possible. And then this little circle on the outside is easy for you to just hold on to and then pull that down and secure it in place. So I thought that was a really nice touch just because, you know, if this wasn't here, then you would be trying to grab like that little, little tiny bit right on the edge there. Uh, and that gets, that gets pretty annoying. So this was uh, nice to have and it just kind of hangs out when it's not in use. Sometimes it'll slide down. Sometimes it just kind of moves around, but it's pretty low profile. So I never really noticed it. So again, this pocket here I can take these sunglasses out and then go into this main compartment. So this is a double zipper. So it's great. You can decide which side you want it on or, you know, have it in the middle and just open it up to get quick access to something right in the center. But this is where I kept most of my other uh, everyday carry items. So in here it is it does pack out pretty quick, right? So I have a wallet. I mean, it's not the smallest wallet in the world, but it's also not huge. Um, I have a, a iPhone here and then some snacks. And then there is a key strap as well. So just a little hook. I do have fairly large keys. I know some people might carry only like one or two things at a time. So again, it's kind of up to uh, personal preference and how that ends up netting out for you. But that's just something that I noticed that, uh, you know, once I get this wallet in here, you know, that's a good half of the space. And then the phone and then keeping flat items worked best. Uh, just kind of logistically, which I'll get into just kind of how these pockets interact a little bit. But this pocket here, there's uh, two liner pockets. One's really small. I have uh, AirPods in this one. So that's great if you prefer to kind of carry those with you on a day-to-day -day basis. They fit pretty much perfectly in this pocket here, actually. And then this one here, I have chapstick, but I found this pocket, pocket to be a little bit um, awkwardly shaped. It's good if you have just like tiny items, I guess, but I found that I needed something either just like a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Um, like my phone, if I wanted to put my phone in there to keep it secure, or like add a little bit of support on the back because there is no, you know, there's no back panel or anything. Um, my phone doesn't fit in here. I mean, it's too big to go that way, obviously, and it's too big to go this way. So uh, just something to keep in mind. You could put your wallet in here too, but I mean, my wallet fits perfectly fine just in this main compartment. So, um, you know, not, not anything that really impacts anything just because it is this flat liner pocket. If you don't use it, then you don't use it. It's not really in your way, um, but it's nice to have if you do want it. So then the other thing to keep in mind here is that we've got, you know, say we load this right back out with just a few items. You have more space. Oops, falls right out. Here, let me zip that shut you have a little bit more space in here, just because the more you pack this center compartment, the more it's gonna cut into this pocket, just because it, it, just by nature of how the pockets stretch, basically. So this pocket here, like I said, you can keep, you know, everyday carry quick access items, like uh, sunglasses if you don't wanna scratch them, snacks if that's something that's a huge priority for you. Uh, but also you could do something like a water bottle. So this is where it gets a little bit sticky as well, just because this pocket, um, this uh, cinched entry here isn't super huge and the pocket itself isn't super huge. So this is 17 ounces. This is a Chili's bottle and it goes in and it fits pretty well, right? So it sticks out a little bit, but in the scheme of things, like it's, it's not huge. It's not a huge eyesore. Um, and then you can cinch it tighter and just kind of secure it a little bit if you wanted to, you know, it stays 
stays pretty much in line even with like jostling around. So that's something that's really cool for a hike or something like that. But it does start to get a little bit more difficult to fit in larger bottles. So this one here is an 18 ounce Hydro Flask and you can see how much it sticks out. So, I mean, it's the, it's the difference between, you know, one ounce and obviously bottle design makes a huge difference too. But that's something to keep in mind that whatever bottle you have and is your go-to may not fit super well in this front pocket. So it's great still for other items, but you know, I, I found myself wishing that I could use it more for that, but my bottles were always just like a little bit too big. So, I mean, looking at the size difference in these, obviously it's a huge shape thing too, right? If you have something that's a little bit larger, but is more shaped like this or more compact, you'll have a little bit of an easier time getting it in there versus something longer and skinnier. But again, just kind of as another example, if we were to stick this in here, tighten that up and then go into this pocket, you can kind of see that it's curving in with the shape of the bottle. So even though they are technically leader independent, they do start to uh, push in just a little bit, just by nature of you know the materials and how flexible they are. So if I were to put in my keys and then I were to put in my phone, it starts to get a little bit clunky to close. And then it pushes out back this way, which then can impact carry comfort. So this is really great if you have flatter items um, or you know you just want something to carry a handful of everyday items, but you're not really looking for something that's, I guess I would say like something where you can shove a ton of gear in there just because it does start to get a little bit awkward uh, and, and impact the shape and the style of the actual bag itself. So there you have it, the North Face Bowser Hit Pack 3. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next video.